Emily, where are you going? To the chili festival! So today is all about giving me a heart attack. Emily and I are driving down to Pueblo, Colorado for the 29th annual Pueblo Chili and Frijoles Festival. you know when we first got here we were a little disappointed because the tour bus uh, from the parking lot dropped us off in the middle of the festival and apparently we turned the wrong way and we went down all the MLMs and the vendors and I'm going where are all the chilies however we turned another corner and I found the chilies you can smell them in the air it smells amazing here all the roasted chilies um, they've got vendors that are actively roasting them for you and then they've got like this farmer market area where you can buy chilies, you can dry dried powder, you can dry, get salsas, I mean anything green chili around here and it is amazing. Uh, I did walk by a place that has chili wraps. Apparently it's an original thing here and we're going to have to go check it out. So we've got one of these chili wraps and they're four bucks. And they're very hot. So it has a roast chili in it. It has cheese and a grilled uh, tortilla. So let's give it a shot. Here's mine. <laughs> and little small things. I know. Oh, they're very hot though. Mm. I just got my cheese. That's what else. So oh, I, I don't know. I got chili in mine. Those are really good. Like these are not hot at all. It's just really green chili flavorful. Yeah. Good. Now I know what to do with the green chilies I have. Also, I'm a very picky and I think it's very good. We're so good. We had to go back and get another one each. <laughs> <laughs> to prove it, here's my two wrappers. <laughs> oh, oh, this They're one's hot. even hotter. Hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you must have got the fresh batch. I think so. Oh. Mm. oh. The water helps to create steam to make it easier to peel the chilies after they have been blistered. Downtown Pueblo has a really nice river walk area that they built to revitalize the downtown area, and it's working. There are a lot of shops, events, restaurants, and activities like a boat tour. Right now we're just waiting for the balloon glow. We're going to see if the weather is going to cooperate for us today. We see over here there's a van that might that has a basket on it. So we're hoping and crossing our fingers that it's going to be a great successful balloon glow. Pleasant surprise are these Pueblo Chili Verde tortilla chips. These are amazing and very addictive. And yes, they're they green. They're fun, aren't they? Yeah, they're delicious and fun. Alright, so it is 7 o'clock and we are here on the grassy area near the river walk with everyone else waiting for a balloon glow. However, there's no balloons. There's no update online. I think it's too windy and we might not have a balloon glow tonight. We'll see. So I'm guessing that means that the balloon glow tonight is canceled. However, there is a balloon launch tomorrow morning at 6.45 that we're going to try and go to, okay? Okay. All right. 
Good morning from Pueblo. So here is the balloon launch this morning. We are up before the sunrise and it looks like it is a go today. We have 15 balloons that we're watching being inflated right now. And we get to watch them launch. Emily and I have never seen a balloon being inflated before, so I had no idea how loud it could get because of all the inflation fans and burners. And I had no idea that the balloons had to be laid out flat on the ground before inflating. But now that I think about it, it totally makes sense. heard this chili balloon is twice the size of a regular balloon and because of that it's not going to take off today um, but it's still pretty cool. Awesome. Emily are you glad we got up at 6 45 this morning? Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know I think it's pretty cool. It's freezing out though. <laughs> So today is all about giving me a heart attack. We're going to be going to a bishop castle, um, which a guy has built by hand over 40 years. Um, and then after that, then we're going to take a cool winding road through the mountains and then go on a Razorback drive um, that's really famous outside of like Florence and outside of Pueblo where you drive on a Razorback mountain. So. We'll see how I handle this today. Since we're here on the weekend, we met Jim uh, Bishop, who actually built this. And uh, he's so nice, walks around the property and loves telling stories on how he built it and showed us an area where he had to build around a tree and then eventually had to cut it down. But he built this over 44 years and uh, had to stop a couple years ago for health reasons. But the drawbridge did used to work, which was kind of cool until some he said some kids came and messed up the mechanism, so it doesn't work anymore, but... That's sad. Yeah, it is sad. But uh, if you come on the weekend, he does hang around here. Try and crack the code? Yes. And I think I know how. I'm surprised it actually spins. It might actually work. Yeah, I'm, I'm being like, I'm like, I'm being like Parker and Leverage. Mm-hmm. Now this is really cool. It is very nerve wracking because I know that there's no subfloor underneath this wood floor. I know that there were no engineers checking out if this was safe or not. Um, but the decorations are actually kind of cool with all the stained glass and this uh, fillery, if you will. It's really cool. But mom gets freaked out. But yes, I'm very freaked out. There are boards everywhere that have been uh, worn through. 
that are cracked, um, some of the flooring that you just have to kind of walk on the braces to make sure that um, you'll be okay. Sure. Some of the... But the, I want to go from places that you won't let me. Some of the stairs, stone stairs, have been cracked and are missing. It's uh, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Everyone, my mom is crazy, y'all. She turns on the heater. She cranks it up to the highest level, turns on her butt heater, opens the window in 57 degree weather. Mom, are you gonna die? I'm gonna die. Why are you gonna die? Because it's a very narrow road on this Skyline Drive and there's no railings and you know, I'm just afraid my car is just gonna take on a life of its own and drive off the cliff. No big deal. Skyline Drive is a narrow road about two and a half to three miles long. It follows a Razorback Ridge overlooking Canyon City, Colorado. The scenic drive is a one-way paved route. It eventually rises to about 800 feet above Canyon City, giving you amazing views of the city and the surrounding mountains. There are no guardrails, despite the steep drop-offs on either side. Cars and trucks are allowed, but not RVs. There are a few scenic turnouts, otherwise you are prohibited from stopping on the road for those Instagram-worthy pictures. The road was built using labor from 60 inmates at a nearby prison. The road was finished in 1905 and only allowed to horse-drawn buggies and foot traffic. In 1907, it was open to automobiles and has been a thrilling roller coaster drive ever since. history for you guys. Back in 1921, we experienced our greatest natural disaster. It was the flood of 1921, which was caused by six inches of rainfall over a period of three days. This historic rainfall caused the existing levees about 30 miles west of here to burst, sending a wall of water crashing into downtown Pueblo. This guy totally just drifted this boat around this corner. <laughs> so after our Bishop Castle adventure and our Skyline Drive adventure, came back to downtown Pueblo and did the river boat tour, which was really cool, yeah. and walked around the river area. And then we found out that Walter Burn Company has a uh, chili beer. So we gotta go check it out. When in Pueblo, right? There you go. The Pueblo chili beer. Definitely.
definitely taste the chili. Actually, it's not hoppy at all. I thought it'd be like a combination of hoppy. It's pretty good. All right. Cheers. The more I drink, the more you're going to win. <laughs> all right. Update on the beer. It's pretty spicy now that I've drank half of this thing. I can't drink any more. I can finish the rest of them. Not this one. So here we are at Angelo's Pizza right on the Riverwalk and we saw that they had a chili pizza, Musso's chili pizza, so we had to try it. However, we only asked for it on half and then got black olives on the other. So we get to try it, but we were 100% fully committed to trying the whole entire thing. So I'll let you know how it goes. It's like the perfect spice, the sweetness ratio.